Thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns. So if we look at your forecast here on this Saturday evening, future track showing you the clouds we've had around pretty much all day will be around tonight as well. You also see the green specks showing up. I think we're going to be dealing with some drizzle at times as we go through the night. And at times that could turn into a heavier drizzle and then eventually some showers by the time we head into Sunday. Next storm system starts to approach on Sunday. We'll keep that potential for showers around. Looks like it's going to be a fairly cloudy day. But as we go in the overnight hours, Sunday into Monday, we'll watch as that front approaches and with that front approaching we may see a few thunderstorms fire up along it. Chance of severe weather pretty low with this system but still could hear some rumbles of thunder maybe some gusty winds out of some of these things as they move on through Monday morning. Then Monday during the day we'll get west winds going and plenty of sunshine on the way as we head into the afternoon. We'll warm up too. temperatures climbing into the 70s despite that cold front moving on through. Overnight we don't fall much. We're in the 50s pretty much all night and by morning and in the afternoon, we're in the mid 60s, maybe closer to around 66, 65 degrees in the afternoon on Sunday. Watch what happens as that front moves in, though. Monday morning, we'll get a quick temperature drop. But then as the sun comes up, those westerly winds will actually heat us up as we go through the day. We could see temperatures topping out in the upper 60s and lower 70s by Monday before cooler air starts to work in by Monday night into Tuesday morning. That's when the actual cool front or at least the cold air behind the cold front will actually be felt as we go into Tuesday morning. So your 10 day forecast looks like this for Central Texas in the Brazos Valley. Mid 60s tomorrow in Central Texas, upper 60s in the Brazos Valley, upper 60s, lower 70s on Monday and the same on Tuesday as well. That's when that drier air will be in place. Another front comes in for the middle of the week. This one looks to pass on a dry note, but it will cool us off into the 50s for highs by Thursday and overnight lows dropping back down into the 30s. After that, our next storm chance doesn't come in until Saturday, bringing a slight chance of storms to Central Texas. Brazos Valley, I think it'll just be mostly cloudy out of that. And we'll actually stay with this warmer pattern as we head on into the new week. That's a look at your updated 10-day forecast. Thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns.